Ronda Rousey is quickly turning in to the female Bret Hart, but she can never say she was the best there was, the best there is, or the best there ever will be. Hell, she can't even say that in the octagon. Never mind the wrestling ring. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. And Ronda Rousey, another massive rant on Vincent Kennedy McMahon, just channeling her inner Bret Hart. Her bitterness inside, she just cannot seem to let this go. And she wants to bash and attack a man that made her a lot of money not having to lose real fights. So what is Ronda Rousey's problem? Same problem Bret Hart has. They're both bitter bastards. And that's what we're here to look at today. So during an interview with Chris Van Fleet, uh, WWE, former WWE star, Ronda Rousey discussed Vince McMahon. And this is what she said. When asked on anxiety what Vince might say about her match, Ronda said the following, quote, No, no, I don't give a shit about that. I didn't really give a fuck what Vince thought, to be honest. I just wanted to have a great match. Sometimes I felt like instead of like enabling us to have a great match, we were fighting against him in order to have a great match. No. Once it was done and all that, like once I was in there and like in the moment and lost in it, there's no better feeling than when you're in it and you're, you believe the story and you're out there with your friends and you're having a blast. It was like we had to march through what were the marshes called in the Lord of the Rings, the dead marshes. I was just going through the swamps of sadness, just trying to be able to walk into the arena. Then once the music hit, I was like, fuck you, we're going to have a great time, then we come back, and then I came back to the curtain, I'm like, fuck you, I'm going to my baby, I don't want to hear shit unless you actually have a plan for next week, which you don't, you don't have a fucking plan, I'm trying to get any information all week long, then no one's going to tell me shit until I get to the arena, and I'm still not going to hear anything for hours, end of quote. So... I mean, let's let's look at the first problem here. The first problem is she says, "No, no, I don't give a shit about that. I really don't give a fuck what Vince McMahon thought." To be honest, see, that's the problem. This is the boss. This is the guy that's enabling you to have this career, to make all this money, and you don't give a fuck what he thinks. That's wrong, right there. I mean, I don't see how people can't see that. How is that a good attitude to have? No, this is the owner of the company. This is the guy that was making everything happen. And she just doesn't give a shit. I mean, that, that makes no sense to me. That seriously makes no sense to me. Do you think John Cena never gave, a, never gave a shit about what McMahon thinks? Do you think Stone Cold never gave a shit about what McMahon thinks? Do you think The Undertaker? Do you think Hulk Hogan? Do you think The Rock? Do you think all these super successful people had that attitude where they never cared about what McMahon thought? Now, did they disagree? Of course. Look at Austin. The guy took his ball and went home. We've seen some other wrestlers jump ship to WCW. But they would care about what McMahon thought because, first of all, he's the leader of the company. They have to go in the same direction. They want to be working together, not against each other. And when you're working together and you're bouncing ideas off and you're agreeing with each other and you're not fighting against one another, then obviously you're going to make a better product. And second of all, he's the boss. He's the guy that's paying them. It's a professional thing to do. But Ronda Rousey seems to say that she never gave a fuck about what Vince thought. And you know what? Maybe that's the problem. I think the problem for Ronda is that she came in thinking that she's this megastar, that she can do whatever she wants. No one can critique her or tell her she's wrong or no one can tell her she needs to do something better because she believes she's Ronda Rousey. She almost believes that the WWE were lucky to have her when in reality... She was lucky to be in the WWE. Look at the stars that WWE have produced over the years. Trust me, they didn't need Ronda Rousey, okay? She needed them. She'd got her ass kicked in her last couple of MMA fights. She needed them. But then she goes on to talk about how when she comes back from after the match that she doesn't care. She doesn't want to listen to anything you have to fucking say. She just says, I'm off. I'm going to be my with my baby. Again, attitude stinks. Attitude absolutely stinks. What kind of way is that to get on? Just get to the back and, and you just want nothing to do with McMahon or, or the creative team? 
and, and you just want to leave, you just want to walk off, who do you think you are, Brock Lesnar, what is it with these MMA guys, or MMA girls, seriously, uh, it's, a, it's a terrible attitude for Ronda Rousey to have, and you know what, she says that she wasn't going to let people tell her this or tell her that, maybe she should have, because she fucking sucked, honestly man, she absolutely sucked, some of those promos, that she cuts, but I remember the one against Charlotte Flair. Uh, I'm gonna take you on at like Summer Slim or whatever. It all it doesn't matter. It's it, it's sooner or it's Sue Bear or something like that. I mean, she was like can't even speak English. Seriously, Ronda Rousey, what are you doing? And then again, just reading that, she's talking about all she cared about was to go out and have a great match, and that seems to be all the wrestlers care about today. It's not about having a great match. It's not about going out there and, and, and trying to get five stars or going out there and hitting a new move that you've never hit before. What is it with all these fucking wrestlers today that seem to think the only thing that matters is going out there and having a great match? You know, it, it doesn't matter. You can have 20 great matches in a row. The product today fucking sucks. Lowest ratings of all time. Lowest interest of all time. Not a fucking star to be seen. No one's larger than life. Honestly, nobody in wrestling today would get my top 50 of all time. That's how bad it is. That, that's the wrestling world that we're living in. But, oh, they can have great matches. Who cares? Who fucking cares? Stone Cold Steve Austin didn't need to have a great match every time he went out. And I tell you what, when Austin did have a great match, it was better than anybody today. I don't care if we're talking Seth Rollins. I don't care if we're talking Roman Reigns. When Austin actually did have a great match in WWE slash WWF, he actually got... A great match. So he, he didn't need to do it all the time though. He could go out and raw and stomp a mud hole for 30 seconds. And, and that's all he needed to do. Look at the shorts. Look at the crowd. Austin 316. The Skulls. Number one merch seller for years. Biggest star ever created in the WWF. Says it all. Did he need to go out and have 20 minute great matches? No. He did not. Did Ronda Rousey have some good matches? Yes. Did it help her get over as a big star? Did it make her a memorable fucking wrestler? Absolutely not. And her whole thing was she believes the women are, are being held down. God forbid McMahon didn't believe. Well, it's not even McMahon believing. It's factual. The women have never been big draws. They've never been the biggest draws. Women wrestling doesn't draw like male wrestling. Why is McMahon going to change that? Why is he going to break tradition? Why is he going to all of a sudden... Like, pretend that that's not the case and have women be superior to the men and, and book more women's matches. I mean, this bitch is lucky. She's lucky she got that WrestleMania main event. Never deserved it, honestly. The fact that match went on last makes me sick. And yeah, that was a pretty poor WrestleMania. And you can definitely argue that there's a couple of reasons. The only reason why maybe it got to main event was because of the lackluster card and then things just aligned with Becky Lynch at that point being at the top, I guess, you know, the, the height of her peak or whatnot, and then you had Ronda Rousey as well, but I mean, that match shouldn't have been a fan to WrestleMania, so she was lucky to get that match, seriously, she was lucky to get that. And then she went on to say why a singles match with Becky Lynch never happened at WrestleMania, and this is what she went to say, she says, quote, because Vince is an 80-year-old asshole. End of quote. She was then asked, so there's no love lost? And she says, quote, no. Vince McMahon, John Laurinaitis, Bruce Pritchard, they can all suck a dick. End of quote. But then she was asked, finally, but all good with Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. And she said, quote, they are fantastic. Love them. End of quote. So here we have Ronda Rousey. And you know what? This is bullshit. Because I tell you what. See when Ronda Rousey left WWE first time. I don't remember her attacking McMahon so much individually. She was attacking the company. Okay. Her beef was with the company. She Her beef was with WWE. But you look at it now. Now that McMahon's gone. Now that Triple H and Stephanie are in charge. What is she doing? She's separating McMahon from WWE. She's bashing McMahon. She's bashing all McMahon's guys like Laurinaitis and Pritchard. Making out they're the assholes. They're the ones at fault. Even though she got paid a shitload of money. Well, those guys were in charge. 
and she fucking sucked. But now she's trying to pretend that Triple H and Stephanie are great because Triple H is the new guy. He's the CEO. He's the one in charge of WWE. And Stephanie McMahon is obviously his wife and she's kissing up to her as well. This tells me that Ronda Rousey, she wants another payday. She's keeping that door wide open, hoping that one day she can come back. And instead of just bashing WWE and blaming her failure of a career on WWE, she's switching it up now. She's blaming it solely on McMahon and the people associated with McMahon. And now she's pretending that Triple H is the greatest thing ever and she's kissing Triple H's ass. I think we'll see Ronda Rousey back in WWE, guys. That's my prediction. Not sure when. Probably 2015, but I think we'll see it just with the way she's going on here. So uh, yeah, I don't get Ronda Rousey honestly. She she had a, I mean she she was shite, and McMahon gave her a career. I mean she stole a living, she stole an earning because it is what it is. But anyway, guys, that is it. I mean Ronda Rousey just wants to hate on people. Just re totally reminds me of the female Bret Hart. Better, 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 and I'm sure any day soon now we're going to hear what Ryback's got to say, because that, that seems to be the three biggest losers, you know, in wrestling when it comes to bashing McMahon. You know, the, these people just cannot get fucking over it. They need to move on. Seriously. Get a life. You know, all, all this stuff happened years ago. You've been paid. You've, ha you've made good careers. Even Ryback. Ryback was a fucking nobody, okay? Ryback's actually made a good living. From being a WWE wrestler. You'd think the guy would show some gratitude. Do you? Without WWE, Ryback would be nothing. This would be another... He'd be a, look, at him, look at him, man. He's a fucking moron. He'd be a retard. An absolute retard on the indies. It would still have to wrestle for 50 bucks a night. So and instead of bashing WWE McMahon, he should be thanking them. Thanking them. Anyway, guys, that's it. Catch you in the next one. Fuck Ronda Rousey. She sucked. Had one armbar. That was it one arm bar and as soon as people started figuring it out she lost and she quit the UFC and cried about depression and feeling suicidal because she lost a fight and she couldn't handle it what a fucking loser seriously man what a loser anyway till next time peace